Hello, why do Russians prefer tea over coffee? This is a common question that many people have. Now, firstly, I lived in Russia for about five months and I've traveled there four times. Um, in the world, over 760 billion cups of coffee are drank each year. That's a huge number. Okay, so firstly, in Russia, um, some basic coffee facts. Two thirds of all Russian coffee drinkers come from St. Petersburg and Moscow. And on average, Russians drink one to two cups of coffee per day. And they prefer instant coffee over fresh coffee by about 85% to 15%. And cappuccino is the favorite drink of Russians. Okay, some background on the history of coffee in Russia. It was Peter the Great, famous Russian Tsar, who was in Holland and discovered coffee in the early 1700s, at which point he brought it back with him to Russia. And early on, coffee in Russia was actually looked at as kind of a lower class beverage. And um, the first, um, or this took time for the concept to gain popularity and for the trend to become more acceptable. But even still, it, it was many years later until coffee was accepted by most of the country. And the first cafe was established in 1726 in St. Petersburg, Russia. And up to this day, St. Petersburg is a very big coffee capital of the world. Unlike Napoleon or Hitler, tea was a huge success in Russia. And it was immediately successful from the point that it first got to Russia. Now, it's probably around the early 1600s, estimates say that tea first arrived to Russia from Mongolia um, or from China. It went from China to Mongolia and then to Russia. And they say that the first shipment of tea was likely from a uh, big gift by a famous Mongolian leader at this time in the early 1600s. And tea became so popular in Russia but that by the 1800s, it was mentioned in countless novels, whether it was Dostoevsky or Tolstoy or any of these big Russian authors mentioned this beverage many times. And it was also drinking or consumed by all social strata, from the poorest to the wealthiest. In fact, uh, famous Tsar Nicholas I, um, who ruled from 1825 to 1855, ensured that all prisoners captured during wars at this time were given tea. And all prisoners also in the Russian penal system were also provided daily with tea. Now, also noteworthy is that in polls, in, in binary studies, 78% of Russians prefer tea over coffee, according to a Euro Monitor poll conducted in 2016. The leaders of a country are very fundamental in setting trends for the country, and this is especially so in Russia, which has always had a long withstanding tradition of having complete loyalty to their leaders. And the trends that the leaders embrace often become commonplace for the people. And that was exactly what you saw in Russia with the tea. Tea was also, as stated before, a more accessible beverage. It also contained higher amounts of vitamin C, which is important as Russia is a colder climate. Many Russians um, for historically depended on tea as a source of vitamin C. Tea, in fact, was so popular that most of the former Russian leaders all love tea, including current, current Russian leader Putin. Now, Alexander I, who reigned from 1801 to 1825, in fact, started every day with a green tea and milk. And he also made it extremely affordable for all Russian classes to purchase tea. Now, the next leader, 
was Vladimir Lenin, um, who led the 1917 communist revolution, which then started the um, beginning of the Soviet Union, also was a big fan of tea. And he always consumed tea wherever he was. Um, when he was in exile, when he was in, in Russia, he always started his day with a tea. And he actually preferred tea to both wine and beer. And the next leader was Joseph Stalin, who was infamous for always having his daily tea, often with lemon. And this um, trend carried on with most of the other former Russian leaders. Famous Russian author Leo Tolstoy was famous as quoting that he could not survive with LT. And many Russians are the same way. In fact, 94% of the country drinks, drinks tea daily. Um, they're known for utilizing a porcelain dish known as a samovar. And the samovar had a long history as being the serving dish for tea. And this was in both a ritualistic sense and just a personal sense. And it also worked as a very conducive way to hold heat. And um, many people um, speculate the, the history of lemon being paired with tea, which is quite popular in Russia. And what they say is that during the 1800s, um, roads were notoriously bumpy and people that were taking long, long journeys within Russia would get sickness, like kind of like um, motion sickness. So they would actually pair the lemon with the tea as a way to mitigate against the motion sickness. And it was, it was a great remedy. While many Russians were able to acquire or to buy tea, coffee was much harder for many Russians to get. And um, that was the main reason why tea was the more preferred beverage until more recently. And in Russia, it's about 50-50 men and women that... Um, it's, it's about equally popular in Russia between men and women for, for the popularity of tea, which is unlike most countries, which is weighted more in favor of women who have preference for tea. And also, um, it, it, more recently, coffees became more popular as it's, it's became more mainstream in the um, pop-up of big coffee chains like Starbucks, or Don Brothers or other major outlets that have expanded globally have um, brought more people to like coffee and also it's became more accessible through higher quantities of imports and the price has also gone down. And there's um, more fresher coffees available now in Russia, not just instant coffee as was the norm during the Soviet Union. Another fun fact is that the most popular groups of people that like coffee in Russia are truck drivers and nurses. Now, one other important aspect why tea was always more favored in Russia is because many people are vodka drinkers in Russia. And um, as a hangover remedy, tea is usually much better for the hangover effects than coffee, which has higher amounts of caffeine and also um, doesn't react as well with a post hangover effects from drinking the night before. In conclusion, while most Russians like both tea and coffee, tea is still the heavy favorite if you look at Russia as a country. Now, if you look at Moscow and St. Petersburg, coffee is has more advantage and it's also noteworthy that in recent years coffee due to major commercialization and other coffee chains becoming prevalent has boosted popularity tremendously in Russia. Thank you.